All right. So. All right. So again, this is a live watching video stream. It's not a stream. It's a live video of me solving this problem that I have not read. I have no idea how to solve it. I just know the name of this invert binary tree and it's easy. So I'm going to try to do this. I'm kind of a beginner. We'll see how it goes. So we have definition of a binary tree. I'm kind of familiar with this though. You have self.value. You can go to the left or you can go to the right. Uh, our function is called invert tree, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So what are we doing? Invert binary tree. So if you have a tree like this, 4271369, so what does it mean to invert it? Uh, um, this is inspired by a tweet. That's interesting. Google, 90% of our engineers use the software you row, homebrew, but you can't invert binary tree on a whiteboard. <laughs> what? <laughs> so F, bleep off. Uh, Google. Okay, I'm just a little curious, but this is anything to do with the problem. But, uh, uh, so you grow homebrew, but you, but you can't bring it. What? Okay, let me look at comments, see if you can see more, uh, <laughs> you're kidding. Okay. Well, I don't understand this, but I'm going to move on. Um, who's this guy? Is he, is he a person? I'll follow him. You know, I will follow him because creator of homebrew. Oh, he's the person who created it. Okay, I'm just, literally, this is part of my problem solving technique. I'm just doing a little research. Um, okay, package manager, I see. Okay, I'll follow this guy. Looks like he is good contributions um okay so invert means seven so the two switches with the seven and the <clears throat> and the i'm not sure so it's like is it did it basically move this tree over here and move this one over here and move this one over here like is it just swapping with your next uh thing okay so there's one problem I don't know what it means to invert binary tree. Invert binary tree. Let's see if we can get more context. Um, you can't reverse a binary tree. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, here we go. An inverted form of binary tree is another binary tree with left and right children of all non leaf Left and right children. Okay, so you're just interchanging uh, left and right children of any non-leaf node. So it's the mirror of the input tree. Note the tree is binary, so there could be a maximum of two child nodes. Okay. So I'm going to go to here. Invert a binary tree, and this is admin. Invert a binary tree interview problem. Asked in Amazon Google after Academy. Asked in Google Amazon difficulty medium. Um, left and right tree of all non leaf You may also call it a mirror of the input tree. Okay, let's look at an example for them. So what they did was they inverted this. So they swapped the three and the two. That is, two was originally the left child, and three was the right child. But now three is the left child, two is the right child, and then. The left child of three is five, and the right child of four is. Oh, sorry. This confused me because. Oh no, it doesn't confuse me. It says that you basically take each node, and you switch its left and right children, unless uh, that's for all non-leaf nodes. So you do it for three as well. You switch its left and right children. Five, it's a leaf node, so obviously you don't. You stop there. This example. <laughs> this example is the same one I just looked at, so you can see how it does that. Um, Okay, so now I know what we're doing. So how am I gonna think about this algorithmically? What's my process? So let's think here for a minute. I don't know. Like, like I said, it's hard to do a problem that you've never seen before, I feel. Um, maybe I, I would know if I've had a lot of experience, but I'm still relatively new to this. Uh, so what do I do? What do I do, what do I do? So you're given the root. Uh, one thing I always like doing is just really looking at 
one of my inputs when I'm working with. Yeah. So yeah, okay, so, uh, cool. Let's, let's see. So. Uh, so I guess it'd be kind of easy. It's literally just, um, is it just like you're recursing through the tree? I feel like you're just recursing through the tree. Probably recursion would work and a while loop would work. So what I could do is I could say, um, I'm going to actually just code this. I feel like this is something I could just code. So I'm going to say, uh, root dot. Root dot left. Oh right, I need to save a temp. Temp equals root dot left. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set root dot left equal to root dot right. And then set root dot right equal to temp. Right? So this will switch them, right? So it'll switch to two and seven, but now I just need to recurse through here. So what we'll do is we'll keep going. Um, uh, as long as <laughs> if not root, uh, return none, I guess, <laughs> I don't know, um, I don't even know if I have to return anything here, <laughs> uh, just gonna get there, uh, but otherwise what you do is you invert tree, um, root dot left, so you go to the left, and then root or uh, and then invert tree root dot right so we'll go all the way to the left so let's think about what this will do so first i need to create a tree this is one thing good thing to uh, uh maybe we're not too far whoop 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 all right uh okay i went maybe too far here okay so i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a tree so say four here and let's go back to seven. Oop. Uh, what? No. Uh, why is he doing that? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Whoa, I guess one. There we go. Uh, and then one, one, two, whatever. And then, whoop. and one, two, three. Uh, three here. Oop. I keep doing that. And then six here, and then nine here. So what I'm thinking is, so you swap the the two and the seven. Um, that's what it does here. So set so the root dot left will be equal to what the root dot right, and the root dot right will be equal to the root dot left. And then you go down to the root left, so you go to the two, and then the two. It runs the same thing it'll swap these and then it'll go to the one when it goes to the one it'll return none so it will go back and then it'll go to the right it'll return none then it will go back to this one it'll go to the right um yeah i believe this would work um okay invert tree is not defined. Did I mistype it? Or I guess you need self, right? Yeah. I keep I always forget you need self um, whenever it's the same function. But uh, uh, output. Oh, am I supposed to return something? What do I return? Return root. And that's not what I want to return. Right. Um, wait, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, that is what you want to return. Right. <laughs> that's right. Because <laughs> you, you change the tree uh, structure uh, and you return that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool problem. Um, yeah, submit it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right. Uh, let's look at this solution. This is because uh, I didn't have time to do it one day. And I was like, okay, because I was moving. I was moving uh, to a different house. And I was like, okay, I didn't have time, so I just copied someone else's solution because I, 
because I don't want to miss the uh, all the ch the challenge because I had to do all 30 days of the challenge to be eligible for the prize. So I was like, okay, let me just copy paste. So I'm still eligible, eligible for the prize. But okay, so yes, yeah, so someone was able to do it like this. Oh, I see. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I see. So instead of uh, instead of doing what I did, I guess there was an easier way to do it. Let me think about this. So you don't have to do this whole temp thing. You can just say root dot left and root dot right is equal to self dot invert tree root dot right. So you go right and then self dot invert tree root dot left and then you go left. So I guess you don't need this. Let me think about why this works. Um, so let's say we start at the 4 here. Um, and so I'm at the 4. And I'm like, OK, well, I can go left. And left means I'm going to recurse this function by going to the right root. So I'm going to set the left root of this equal to when I go over here. So I go over here. Um, and then I go to. Uh, I set the left of this one to this, and then once I go to here, it goes further, it returns none, um, and then it, uh, uh, does it return root? What point does it return root? You know what, I, there's a way, there's a way to do this, uh, I'm going to show it, I'm going to do something here, it's called Python Tutor. Python tutor because this problem is so simple I could do it on here use this thing uh, yeah I think this is it let's okay, so check this out no uh, I comment this uh, wait this is not gonna work because I have to create a tree which um, would take a while okay I could create a tree though I could create four two seven so I have to do Tree node four. I'll do this is the initial uh, init equals, and then I'll do, whoop, and then I'll do init dot left equals tree node. Um, I'll set the left to two. Init dot right equals tree node uh, seven is it? I think so. And I'll do one three. So I'll say init dot left uh, dot left equals tree node one. Init dot left dot right equals tree node three. And then init dot right dot left equals tree node, what value do I want to use for that? Six, okay, six. Six, and then init dot right dot right equals tree node nine. Uh, and then I created this, so then I want to do, uh, I don't have to print it, but I can run it, do invert tree, init dot invert invert tree and then root of your tree node in it. I don't know. This is confusing me now. <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah okay so it's just gonna what's it doing? It's creating my tree. Yeah. Right, okay. So this part, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Solution, invert tree is not defined. So, so confusing. I guess I'm just gonna, 
include this in here and then do uh, I don't know init <laughs> uh, that would be doesn't work tree node is not defined uh, okay whatever we'll do this we'll, okay we'll do it back how it was before um, but what we'll do is we'll initialize so we'll say solve equals solution I don't know how to do that solve dot invert tree uh, root is init <laughs> oh boy I don't know if this worked we'll see alright and I think I can just press yes yeah, so just press quick space bar and it will like go through this code um, so yeah, it gets all the way to here. Oh, wait, are we running? Oh yeah, we started running. So I think at 45. Okay, so it creates the solution instance. And then uh, it calls invert tree. Uh, where do we? So we have invert tree and the root is pointing to this tree node instance. So we do root.left. Okay, so it calls it again. Um, let's see where it went. It went to to the right one. Okay. So it called this. It went to the right. Okay. And it looks like it went to the right again. Um, okay, it went to the right going to return none um, turn none uh, now it's going to return the root which is the the value 9 um, to be to the left oops so that's the return value and then It's going to return this one, or no, or no, it's going to go to the right, to the left now. Yeah, this is the left one. Okay, and it's going to return none, and then it's going to return root, so it's going to turn that root for the right. So now the right is pointing to this one. And the left is pointing to this one, which is a switch, right? It's a switch uh, over how it used to be. So the, the right is pointing to this one, the left is pointing to this one. Now we go up here and we get the return value. Um, right, so this is going to say. We're looking at the left one right now. But, and I think it's going to go to the right. Left, sorry, it's going to the. No, wait. It is going to the right. Um, It's going to return none, and then it's going to return this root, okay, and then it's probably going to return, uh, which way is it going, I'm not sure, um, 